All right, so at this point in my build, I'm realizing I made a little mistake here. If you can see that there, these axles have to be installed with uh, this little flange here uh, pointing up, and I've installed them to the side on both the left and the right, so I'm gonna have to change that. In order to do that, I'm gonna have to go and take a bunch of this stuff apart, but I'm realizing as well right now that I can't actually um, access the motor to do the wiring. Uh, without removing some of this stuff as well. So that probably should have been done beforehand too. So I'm gonna go now and uh, mess around a little bit, take some of this stuff off, reinstall these axles and wire up those motors and I'll show you in a sec how that worked out. All right, just before we reinstall everything, here's the electronics uh, all set up. Here's my receiver and transmitter. Um, on my receiver, I have the steering servo hooked up to channel one. I have this little speed controller here hooked up to channel two. Channel three and four go to lifter servos in the back. In order to have these two servos work in tandem here, I have a mix set up in my receiver. Uh, you can see I have channel three set up as a master and channel four set up as a slave. And then in the settings, I have channel four set to reverse so that uh, this one goes the opposite direction of this one. So they both lift up and back um, at the same time instead of in opposite. My speed controller here is connected to my little 2S LiPo battery. Uh, the speed controller is feeding power to the motors, and the motors are wired up with two little JST plugs that uh, come together here. If I want to turn everything on, I just use this little switch here. That powers up my ESC, which powers up my receiver. And then I have my steering up front here. I have my two rear wheels here working in tandem. I can go forwards and I can go backwards. The positive on this one is connected to the red wire and the positive on this one is connected to the black wire. And uh, that makes sure that the motors are gonna move in opposite directions, but they're pointed the opposite way, so they'll move forward together. And then I can move my lifter arms back here with uh, this little dial. And that's it. We'll get it back together and uh, finish her off. Okay, here's everything tucked inside. I have my on off button right there, there's my speed controller, I have my receiver down there, my battery's up front, uh, obviously servo there, a couple of servos in the back, and uh, we close it like this, this goes over top, snaps into place. Beep.